This video will show you how to use the recurring journal entries feature in Sage Busy Vision. Recurring journal entry is used to post regularly recurring general ledger, customer, and vendor journal type entries. Normally, you use this feature when you have identical transactions that recur on a scheduled basis, such as rent, insurance, property tax, lease payments, a weekly, monthly maintenance agreements, subscriptions, or membership fee. To use the recurring journal entry, first of all, you will need to create the initial entry manually, and then you create a template for the recurring journal. After you finish the template, you can log out and log back in Business Vision. If there is any due on or before the sign-on date, the system will post the transactions automatically in the background. What types of transactions can be recurring? You can do recurring journal entry for general ledger journal entry. You can do for AR, AP invoices, debit memo, and credit memos. Business Vision does not allow you to do recurring for the payment in account receivable and account payable. To access recurring journals, click Utilities on the menu, then select Recurring Journal Entries options. I'm going to show you a few examples of how to use recurring journal entry. The first example, I want to set up a pre-authorized payment for car insurance recurring on the first day of every month from January 2012 to December 2012. The first step, I need to create the initial transaction. So my transaction will begin on January 1st, 2012. I go to Journal Entry, enter a transaction in January 1st, 2012. And let's assume I will use my Visa account to pay for the car insurance. The amount is $500 a month. And I want to put this one to my car expense, 21120. Debit the amount 500 and then save the transaction. The second step, I need to create a template for the recurring journal entry. Click Utilities. Select Recurring Journal Entry. Click the New icon. If you know the transaction number, you can type it here. If not, you can click on the Browse icon and select the transaction. Some of the transactions will have the red mark. That means you cannot create a recurring journal entry for this transaction. For example, this one this is the payment for a customer, so you cannot do a recurring for a payment. So now I'm going to select the transaction that I want to recur. This is the description of the transaction. You have two status for the recurring template, either active or suspended. So I select active. You enter the start date and the end date of the recurring journal entry. Since we already post the transaction in January 1st manually, you don't want to start on January 1st again. You will start on this February 1st and then end at December 31st. You can also click on the View Transaction to double check, make sure your transaction is correct. For the frequency, you have several selections either pay by monthly on a specific date, on fiscal, annually, weekly, daily, quarterly, bi-weekly, or bi-monthly. In this example, I need to do the payment every month, so I am select monthly on the first day of the month. So once everything finished, you click Save 
to save the template. After creating a template, you will need to log out and log back in again. My login day is April 18. And Business Vision will check the templates. If anything that needs to be posted, it will post in the background. So you don't see anything. But if you go to the GL, select the account, you will see the transaction got posted on February 1st, March 1st, and April 1st with the amount of 500. Let's say starting of the month of May, the amount for insurance will increase to 600. So you want to modify this template. When you open, everything is grayed out. The only option available for you to select is the status, and you can have active and suspended. Because of the audit trial purpose, Business Vision doesn't allow you to modify the template. So you, what you can do is you suspend it, the template, and then you create a new template. If you decide to delete the template, you can highlight and click on Delete Template. Let's take a look at another example. I want to set up the invoice posted to the Time Magazine vendor automatically on the 15th of the month from February 2012 to January 2013. In Account Payable, under the vendor, I need to create the initial transaction in February 15. Put in the amount, let's say $35. The second step, I need to create a template for this transaction. So go to Utilities, Recurring Journal Entry. Click New, select the invoice, and then enter the start date. Since we already post in February, we will start in March. And end in January. We want the transaction posted on the 15th of the month. So you're going to select specific date and select the 15. And then save it. We need to log out and log back in again. This time I log in with May 16. And now let's check the vendor. And you can see we have several invoices posted on March 15, April 15, and May 15. If you go to the recurring journal entry, it will tell you when the last transaction got posted is on May 15. Now I want to post pre-authorized monthly payments to Time Magazine vendor account on the 20th of every month from February 2012 to January 2013. Since Business Vision doesn't allow you to do recurring for payments, you will need to process the pre-authorized payments to a vendor as a credit memo. In Account Payable, I'm going to post the initial credit memo. On February 20th, and on the journal entry, you make sure that the amount come out from the correct account. 
So in this case, I use my Visa account for the pre-authorized payment, and then I post it. So this is my pre-authorized payment. The next step, I will create a template for my credit memo. Click New. Select the transaction for the credit memo. And then change the start date for March 20th to January 20th. So I select the 28th of every month and then save it. After that, we log out and log back in again. I'm going to log in with May 16. Now go back to the vendor account and you can see that a credit memo is posted on March 20th, April 20th. The one in May is not posted yet because we log on with May 16. Let's take a look at this example. I want to post invoices and the pre-authorized monthly payments to my customer account from January 2012 to December 2014. Similar to the previous example, you should process the payments from customer as a credit memo. Here are some frequently asked questions about recurring journal entry. How do I modify or extend a recurring journal entry template? Business Vision doesn't allow you to modify the recurring journal template. You can suspend or delete and then create a new template. The second question, how do I reverse a recurring journal entry? To reverse a recurring journal entry, you can reverse the owner's entry manually and then create a template using the reverse entry, sign off business vision and then sign on again to activate the reverse template. The recurring journal entry posting happens when a user logs on Business Vision. Therefore, you must ensure that the user ID has proper right to recurring journal feature. You also need to make sure the template is accurate and up to date and ensure that the sign on date is correct. This is the end of the video about recurring journal entry. If you have any questions, Please call the Customer Support Department at 800-215-5395.